Hi, I'm Eric Price, product specialist at Atlas Copco. Today, we're gonna to be going over the settings tab in your Power Focus platform products. Let's head into the software. Now we're in the software and I'm using a Power Focus 8. Although a lot of this applies to the other products within the platform, such as the integrated controller on an IXB tool and tools control, some of these sections in the settings may be missing based on the controller's capabilities that you have. So please keep that in mind. So we'll start at network. This is where you'll find all your connection methods and be able to set up your controller's network. There are separate videos that go into depth about how to actually network your controller. Up at the top, you'll see your ethernet port information. The service ethernet port has a designated IP address which cannot be changed. That is 169.254.1.1. It is here just for reference. Only the factory ethernet port can be configured by selecting edit, turning it on and off, and entering the IP information. Now going back to the network tab, on the Bluetooth window, this is where you would set up your Bluetooth connection from the controller to your tools. Now looking at the channels tab, this is where you would select 2.4 or 5 gigahertz channels, depending on your wireless communication needs. Under that, we have our wireless client menu. This is where you would set up your tool to controller connection via Wi-Fi by enabling this mode and configuring your IP settings. Under that, we have a new feature in the platform called wireless access point. This is where the controller will create its own network for the tools to connect to. This could be used if you don't have very good wireless infrastructure or just none at all. And then again, you have your service ethernet IP address just as a reference below that. And then lastly, you have the ability to configure a firewall for increased cybersecurity. In the server connections tab, this is where your connections to external servers are. You can see that I'm currently connected to Tools Talk 2. You can also connect to ToolsNet 8. You would just turn it on and put in the IP address as well as Atlas Copco License Manager. This would be used if you're using Tools Talk 2 to distribute licenses. You would need to just turn this on, and the IP address is typically the same as the Tools Talk IP address above. Now for remote logging, this is where you would configure your connection to a remote logging server. Now heading over to the IXB Connect tab, you'll find the port number for the connection between the controller and the IXB tool. This is similar to an open protocol port number. The Preferences tab is pretty straightforward. We have our date and time settings. You can set it to manual or NTP, which is network time protocol, or ToolsNet 8, which pulls the time from your ToolsNet server. You can set your preferred language that is shown on the controller. We also have a variety of torque units that can be displayed on the controller, so you can select whichever torque units that you prefer. Also temperature, if you prefer Fahrenheit or Celsius. And then below that, here is where you can select what you want your default screen to be when the controller powers up, either the home page or the result screen. And then lastly, you can enable or disable your access to the controller's factory ethernet port. In the pin tab, you can create a four digit code that requires the user to enter that code whenever making any changes to the controller. This would be useful for security reasons or preventing an operator from making any unwanted changes to any of the controller programming or configurations. You just select the plus button at the top right corner, enter your four digit pin, and you can also give certain permissions on what they are able to configure. The alarms tab allows you to set when to perform maintenance or calibration on tools that are connected to the controller. Also, if you would like the tool to lock after the alarm goes off, and the oil supervision option is only relevant for tools with hydraulic pulse units. The BCP and external tool tabs only apply if you have these products connected. The events tab gives you each event code number and description, and also the option to choose the events that you want reported from the controller. You can have each event acknowledged, logged, or displayed, as well as details that you want communicated when each event occurs. The field bus section consists of information about the field bus type that's in use, this part is hardware dependent and read only. You must have tools talked to for mapping your field bus. The Power Focus is capable of creating logs and storing them. These logs are configured in this extended logging tab using groups. Toggle on or off the groups that you need here. Lastly, the reset tab is where you can factory reset your controller like it was just taken out of the box, or you can clear the results that have been stored. This has been an overview of the settings tab in the Power Focus platform. If you have any questions, please contact your local Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.